Hey guys, RC with Digital Tech Reviews, bringing you another video. This is going to be a, um, I guess this is a little bit more retro than most of my other videos. Um, with the possible exception of the unboxing I did of the Wonderswan Color. Um, did that a few videos back, you can jump back and check that out. But, uh, found this new, new inbox. So yeah, had to pick it up. And this is the... Oh, I guess I should also mention that this will be the first video where I'm going to probably have to carry the camera around a little bit more, so apologies if it's a little shaky. I guess today this would be known as the Sega Genesis Slim. Um, the second iteration of the Sega Genesis that was released. It was a lot smaller than the first. Unfortunately, it also uh, was absent the uh, front headphone jack, which would give you stereo if you had the right kind of cable. But here's the front of the box. Uh... If you notice down here, columns, cartridge included, and um, hmm, let's see what else. Let's see if I can get this in focus. Recommended for ages four and up. Five hundred plus games. Well, that's how you knew this wasn't a <laughs> a release system. This comes with Genesis unit, one control pad, one AC adapter, one TV antenna switch box, and columns game cartridge. That's right, this didn't come with AV support, AV cable support. Hmm. Around to the back. Um, yeah, list of games, you can definitely tell that this was not a uh, original release launch. You know, we've got Sonic the Hedgehog 3 here, uh, Red and Stimpy, that was another good one. Echo the Dolphin, that was a really good one. Um, Toe Jam and Earl, and basically the back is just going to give you a bunch of lists of games that were highly uh, popular at the time. I mean, Jurassic Park. I'm really very popular. I guess it's just because it's a movie tie-in. Um, and yes, for those of you out there, Barney is actually this old. <laughs> uh, Dr. Robot and its Mean Bee Machine, Home Alone 2, Star Trek, Gunstar Heroes, and World Championship Soccer. Bottom of the box claims that Sega has everything you need. And extra peripherals, of course, being the six button arcade stick, the six button arcade pad, and a remote arcade system, which, if I remember correctly, was horrible wireless controller that you had to point at the little receiver. Uh, it also had uh, multi player support up to four players. I don't remember ever seeing that. And of course, the Sega CD system. But enough of the box. I always want to see what's in the box. So, and yeah, this will be another part where I'll probably have to carry around the camera. Crap. Box. And here we have the inside of the box. Bag with the can. What's this? Hmm. Focus. Okay, there we go. As I hit the camera with the bag, I'm pretty sure that's helpful. Oh, a bag in a bag. Haha. What do we have here? The columns instruction manual. Is it even in color? Nope, black and white. A a Welcome to the next level. Sonic the Hedgehog 3. Um it's a poster? I don't remember this. Oh, very cool. The old Eternal Champions game. If I can open this without tearing it. Yeah, this is not gonna come out. <laughs> Way too big. But yeah, Eternal Champions rated M or MA13 for parental discretion advised. Mature audiences over the age of 13 can only play. And the back is pretty much the same as the back of the box. Um, with the list of games for Genesis. Game Gear and Sega CD. It's kind of cool. Actually, I might definitely keep on that. And Sega Channel. What? Is this Sega Channel? Holy moly! I didn't. I you know. I, I did not. I forgot all about this. It is. Uh, it was a channel you could get that was Sega only. Um, kind of cool. I wonder if you called this number if it's still active. Ha <laughs> ha! Probably not. And the we're always here to help customer support. 
Hmm. Different bar numbers. <laughs> the insanely large instruction how to hook up pamphlet, which that's just two folds of it, and I'm gonna try. But it's interesting that they've been putting epilepsy warnings on video games since the since the Sega. Oh uh, look here. Get Sega Vision six months free and learn to win. Mm. Yeah. Alright. Game. Didn't come in the box. Have a look down. Um, Columns game. If I remember correctly, this was. Oh, this is kind of like Tetris. I guess Tetris. Pack. Oh. Ooh. That's right. It's an RF adapter, which. You know, honestly, I don't even think my LCD TV will actually show this on it by a RCA cable. It's huge power brick. So good. I don't know if that's going to come out. I had a lot of friends who actually had, their, for various reasons, they weren't able to use this anymore. And a few of them actually hooked up their Nintendo. Now, you get the same size physical plug for the original Sega, but I would say do not plug the Nintendo into the original Sega because Nintendo used output of alternating current. This uses direct current. It's not good. And then unopened controller. Oh. Uh, uh. I don't know what kind of rubber or plastic. I'm not sure if this is even going to come out on camera, but uh, this did not age well. You know, yes, it is new. Never been used. Tied up and everything. But this rubber, I don't know. It's, was it supposed to be like that? I don't know. The other one I have, the other one from the original system, was more like a smooth. This is... I guess it's not bad. It's just... I'm not sure what it is. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be like that. And the Sega Slim. I'm not sure if that's what they call it, but that's what I'm going to call it. Let's untake it. And there we have it. I'm pretty sure this was just called a Sega Genesis 2. Matter of fact, I know it was called a Sega Genesis 2, but since everybody nowadays calls their smaller re-released system Slims, we'll call this the Sega Slim. Power button, reset button. A little light here. It's missing the, uh, the original had a little headphone jack here and had a volume, which would give you stereo sound because this one natively does not support stereo sound. And I think the adapter you buy for it for it to go for AV only gives video and then one channel audio like that. I mean, you can fudge it if you get a splitter, but uh, it's a lot better with the original. Oh, of course, this was the expansion bay for the Sega CD and such. But that is pretty much it. I'm going to actually hook this up. And if I had a way to screen cap, I would try that. But with, uh, with this, hmm, not sure it would look so great. But that was my unboxing of a Sega Genesis version 2 or Sega Genesis Slim. Um, I think that's pretty much it. I'll be trying to bring a few more retro type unboxings. I'm not sure how that's going to work because finding one of these in box at a reasonable price, not very easy. So we'll see how that goes. Um, but that's pretty much it. I will not say um anymore in this video because I'm fixing to end it. But uh, this was RC Digital Tech Reviews. Please rate, comment, subscribe if you like my videos. And thanks for watching.